Hey guys, I'm here. We are back for episode 10 of season three of Stargirl. Um, last episode ended with a shocking reveal. You know, I saw like a handful, like not even a handful of people actually called this one. Ultra Humanite was revealed as one of the villains, at least. I and mean, we know he's not the only one, but he's the one that was revealed at the end of the episode coming up on Thunderbolt, Jakeem, and, uh, and Mike. While they were snooping around the old farm looking for Cindy, oh my lord, that was that that was not on my bingo card at all for this season, man. On top of that reveal, we also had that entire scuffle at the McKent house with pretty much everything just kind of coming out about the JSA, Cameron's father, and this big old battle within their home, which ended up getting cut short after the grandfather had a heart attack and that caused the fighting to cease as everybody kind of rallied together to make sure he gets at, through it. And uh, Beth manages to use some of her suit's new abilities to, you know, resuscitate him from his heart attack. And I'm very curious to see where that leaves us with that whole storyline, given everything that just transpired. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in. If you wanna see the full length reaction, remember it's on Patreon or if you got a member of the channel, get you access as well. It's a watch along format. You get the same thing for all the other shows that we cover here on the channel. You get to suggest and vote on what movies we react to each month. We got monthly Q and A's, behind the scenes footage to try to make it worth your while since you are going out of way to support the channel. But of course, I know now we can do that. And a simple way you can help us out is just by liking, comment, subscribing, sharing these videos because it really does go a long way with helping us grow here on YouTube. We're almost at 40K. So if you're not subscribed already, if you're new, if you're a long time lurker, if you enjoy the reaction, I hope you stick around. We got plenty of stuff coming your way down here in the future. With that all said, guys, let's go ahead and hop into episode 10. Here we go. No. She did it. Oh, a lot of parenthood books and leadership stuff. Not too tough to be kind. No, oh. <laughs> they have turned around, man. Are they going to die? Oh, she painted JSA on her backpack. They're really getting in with the town, too. And he was a cop! <laughs> Damn, man, this is crazy. Oh, no. All right, let's go down to the sewer. Or not. Oh, God. They're going to be next. I don't know, man. This makes me uneasy. You know, in the old days, it wouldn't have mattered if they were wearing dentures or fitted with pacemakers. Anyone attacks us, we take them out. But we don't use violence to solve our problems anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, we can't just like grandma and grandpa icicle walk away from this. Let it be. Let it be. I don't need you guys getting killed. Why am I rooting for them to not die? God, I hate Crusher in every other medium, man. You're not supposed to like him. Chapter 10, The Killer. Oh no. I mean, we do only have three left. Are we finally gonna confirm it? Oh. Oh, they just booked it? Come on, man. <laughs> oh! Barry, Bill, and Ted. I love it. Even down to the lightning coursing around it. How was I supposed to know wishing to go home wouldn't take us anywhere? Because home is where the heart is. A very apropos statement. It actually... Jesus, I hate this pen, man. Beth tracked the receiving signal from the spy cameras to the McKint house. They're the ones who have been watching us. How could they not be involved? Because we've been set up before. Think about it. At the exact moment you and Cameron were trying to bury past demons, Beth suddenly... See, it's a good point. It's a good point. 
Look at Starman actually having a level fucking head now. It's an arc, man. Someone is trying to distract us. Well, if the McCants haven't been the ones watching us, then who's left? Ultra humanite and someone else. Someone with a normal human sized fist. We don't know for sure that that's what they're doing, Grandma. And Papa, he yeah. said. Cut him, Cameron. Oh, God damn it. You know the truth now, Cameron. Uh, not really. Go find the Vitmo girl. You know what must be done next. Fuck off. And he's got that pouty face down, man. I don't like it. Good lord, he got a beating. So what's the prognosis, Doc? Will I ever play violin again? That's not funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny. From what they told us, you just rushed in. You even hit Courtney. It was an accident! Okay? You know that. Yeah, no. We're all really worried about you. I'm fine. Shh, God damn it, Rick! Then take off your hourglass. Take it off for 10 minutes. See how you feel. Don't ever tell me what to do. <sighs> yeah, he, he can fuck off, man. That, that was a line I don't appreciate him crossing right there. All of this has been, but still. Oh, okay. Interesting impromptu visit from the gang. Oh man, I wonder how they'll react to Starman being here. Not bringing the staff? I gotta say, it's a mistake. Yeah, we're not here to fight. So we're here to die? <laughs> Maybe. If grandma's home. They're the worst of the bunch. You know they could One might say they're cold. Then we still got a chance to calm the waters before any more blood gets spilled, alright? We need to try. Okay. We're gonna die. <laughs> I'd be angry at the allegation that I would hurt a child. <laughs> You just tried to freeze dry a bunch of kids, Grandpa Frostbite. Watch it. Far away from Blue Valley. Or you should come for us as others have before. We would love to take a shot at you. Sylvester. God damn. Oh no. Your husband and his friend came to our house today, so I came here. My son could have saved this country's future. And he was so very fond of you. Oh! 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 I won't miss on purpose again. Oh, thank God. I have one second to leave. This. You need to learn how to do something, Barb. Fuck. Wait. Is it north or south Main Street? Got to be specific, boys. Didn't he just say like you have to speak it's not about the specificity in the last episode, it's about wishing from your heart. Hey, we found her. Hey. The hell? One of my dad's crazy science experiments. It's gotta be able to kill the gambler, right? Probably. So it's how I'll clear my name and shove it into the smug faces of your sister's dumbass friends. <laughs> Do yourselves a favor, go play some video games and leave this to me. But the Thunderbolt said that. What? The, she. Oh, oh, just like Batman! Just like Batman. Batman confirmed. I don't know if I can do this. I'm not a superhero. <laughs> not all superheroes fly through the air. 
Some fire arrows. Yes, they do. My boy Ollie. Yes, it is. Corny is a fighter. She gets that from you. No. Oh. Uh, I don't want to lose the only real friend outside of my family I've ever had. So. No, try again. Oh, that was so cute, man. I never meant for any of this to happen. And why'd you do it? Yolanda and Rick were just trying to protect me. They thought your grandparents... My grandparents are not evil, okay? <laughs> They're just angry. <laughs> I'm angry. I know you are. You should have told me the truth. I wanted to, but... I didn't know how. You just opened your mouth. <laughs> I know how much your father meant to you, and I didn't want to change the memory you had of him. He killed people to get what he wanted, and he was about to kill more, so, so many more. Did you have to kill him to stop him? Did you have to take him away from me? Forever. I mean, honest, tell, honestly, it was an accident. Who did it? Oh, no. Who killed my father? I did it. Oh, wow. I don't ever want to see you again. Yeah. I got to respect her a lot for not saying Mike, and but... Yeah, saying herself was n was never going to make this relationship mend. Because that just makes it so icky. It, were it true? If she was the one that killed him, but then was around here smooching, smooching, hanging out with him, keeping this secret, that she offed his, his dad the whole time knowing, oh, that's so fucked up. But he wasn't going to back down without getting a name. There's no way out of that. At the same time, I kind of, I kind of feel like, you know, had she said Mike, like, what are you going to do? Are you going to kill a kid? That's something your fucking dad would do. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, what are they going to do? You sure you want to do this? That old woman won't listen to a word Barbara says. But we used to be on their side of the fence, well, on Jordan's. They might be more open-minded with us. I'm so worried about them, man. I'll hit the skies, see if I can find any clue up there. Hey, don't have to worry about it. Dad, okay? I, I was, we were in the hey. No. Word, you know that? Yeah. Where were you? We found a monster in the woods. What? A monster? Grundy? It, it was a huge mutant gorilla. Oh, God. <laughs> they know. But if this continues, it will only bring more destruction to our families and our community. And that's not what you would wanted in the end. No, it wasn't. So you kill them, and they kill you, and a lot of other people get killed along the way. How will this help Cameron? What kind of future will this give him? They might be the best people to talk to them about this. Well, sir, some did not. You can kill you then. Come to. No. <laughs> I don't like that we didn't end on that unless it, she shows up there with like a cake or something. Though I think it's already too late though. Cameron, I think is, uh, that decision's been made. I think that bridge might be burned. When the Justice Society first formed, it was a scientist. Didn't know his real identity. He just went by the ultra human knight. But he went by a lot of names. We don't even know if the scientist's body we first met him in was his original one. Anyway, he assumed Dolores Winter's identity and fooled everyone. Dolores Winters went on to win an Oscar. <laughs> and it was actually him. 
he won the award. Exactly. When the JSA found out the truth about Winters, the ultra-humanite, sought out a body strong enough to destroy us. So he and Dragon King stitched that mutated ape together and put his brain in that. What do you think? I think they're considering it. I think they're not going to make it home. Someone's gonna die this episode, man. The Ultra Humanite is the next Eclipso. What does that mean? He's the next real evil that has to be stopped by all of us. The Crocs, Cindy, and now the McKints. If this villain is as powerful Damn. as you say, it'll take everyone to stop him. Maybe she's right. It's gonna take each and every one of us, though, working together. So Rick needs to get his fucking shit together. All right, man, we're at the end of this episode, so... Oh, no. Dad, Mom, I got in! What? Mr. Morrison was at trial tonight. They are so dead. God damn it. What the hell is this? Guys. Someone wants our attention. If they're looking for trouble, they're gonna be sorry they got it. Guys. Don't go down there. No. <laughs> Why are you doing this? You don't have any of your shit. What the hell? Oh. Yep, it's uh, it's Jordan. It's fucking Jordan. I know they were fucking setting us, teeing us up the entire episode, man, but it's still like, it fucking, I'm upset. I'm not okay. <sighs> Given everything they just did and everything they just said in his name, too. God, that pisses me off. I'm so upset. And there's not even any bodies to be found, to be buried, to to lay to rest, to like say their peace to, to Barb, to Pat, to Artemis. God, that fuck you, Jordan. Oh my lord. Oh, I'm not all right, man. We got three episodes to bring everything together. Rick is still being a dickhead. <sighs> Courtney's uniting everybody. The McKent seem to be entertaining the idea of moving on. But how will that change when they find out Jordan's alive and involved? in all of this. He's been alive this whole time and just been watching and waiting and letting this unfold. I think that'll, that'll make Cameron at least a little bit more open to everything that's gone on, especially if he finds out exactly and maybe for himself with his own eyes what his dad's capable of and has been doing. The fact that his dad 
has been choosing this entire time not to come home. So I'm assuming that, like Iceman, he was able to re reconstitute his body from the shards. Like, because Iceman can't die as long as there's moisture around. So, like, I'm pretty sure that's probably the case here. But this was a pretty damn solid episode, man. We got the lore on Ultra Humanite. He's teamed up with Jordan. And... Yeah, he's been hunting everybody down, watching everybody. So what's been, what's the move? What's the plan? What's the overall plan? You know, this at this point, you know, he knowingly lured them down there. Is he just getting revenge on anybody who's tried to steer away from the, the ISA? Like, I really want to know his motive. Because it hasn't been specifically targeting just the JSA. He's been watching everybody, his own home. Uh, the Gambler, uh, fucking everybody in town, not just the main gang, which is kind of interesting. I'm very curious. Is it because they all kind of like have this wishy-washy like dynamic since he's been gone with the Eclipso and everything like that and the in-between? I don't know, man. Yeah, I mean, overall, not a lot happened in this episode, but it was a lot of, it was a little bit of a calm a little bit of a breather after the last one for everybody to kind of calm, collect, and talk things out a little bit, except for Rick, who mouthed off to Beth's family and then threatened Beth and left when they were concerned about his hourglass. So, yeah. Let's see where that goes. I, I'm so upset. I knew, I knew, I knew from the moment we got that happy opening with the Crocs, something bad was going to happen. They kind of turned me away from it. I thought that was like maybe going to be a red herring for a little bit. And then it was going to be the McKents. Like they finally turn over this leaf. After this conversation with the Crocs, they were going to finally maybe give up this feud. And then somebody was going to come in and maybe kill one or both of them, and then frame it on everybody else, really setting Cameron against them. thought maybe that was the direction that was going to go when we lingered there after the grandmother finally seemingly kind of turned around on the idea or thought. And then, whew, nope. Came right back for us. Oh, man. Not all right. Courtney taking the blame for Jordan's demise so that he doesn't have any resentment towards Mike. Strong, protective, sisterly thing to do there. But what would that say about Cameron if he did take out vengeance on a child like that? A peer is one thing. Like somebody significantly younger than himself, I think that would, I don't know, that might be a little more eye-opening had he known the truth there, but I don't think that would be the right call either to admit it on Mike's behalf like that, but I got to respect Courtney for doing what she did, man. Ah, this is crazy, dude. We're trying to unite everyone with our, to bring everybody together. The McKents, well, the only croc left is Artemis now. Cameron, well, he's one of the McCants, obviously. Um, get Rick on the same page somehow, get Cindy back. Maybe even get Shade and Jenny and Obsidian. Don't know. I have to unite everybody, man. I, I, We got a Batman name drop in this one. Confirm he's at least out there in some form, uh, which is interesting. But yeah, man. I'm not going to talk long on this episode because I'm just kind of in a sour mood now. So, guys, sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Remember, if you want to see the full-length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, it gets you access as well. And speaking of, before we go, I want to shout out to Channel Legends. Manny Share, Ryan, Karen, Philly Bain, Yori, Corey Scott, Mark, Grace, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Raven McCann, Jeffrey Hale, and M. For all. Thank you guys so much for continued support. But that's it for this episode, guys. I'll see you all next week with episode 11. Take care, everybody.